It looks like I also have a bunch of random quests I can maybe turn in. This confuses me a bit. Let's take a look. What's this? Why do I have to talk to Joe? Welcome. Hey there, welcome to Sunshine Cafe. What's that? You need an iconic new LA food. Well, you've come to the right place because there's nothing more iconic than our famous sunny spicy hot dog. It's a spicy hot dog uh, with the works, guaranteed to stay molten lava hot from the first bite to the last. And talk about a bargain. This bad boy is only 600 credits. Buy it. Order up. Yeah. Don't worry, this baby will rock the pants off of your Xeno buddy. Assuming he wears pants. Oh, and it's super hot, so be careful carrying it. Alright, so effectively, I just have to run around buying food here. I gets it. Starlight Duster sounds more badass than it probably is. We'll see. Oh yeah, I just realized Tatsu doesn't wear pants. Huh. huh? Looking for a new LA delicacy, eh? And you cut uh you have to try my house special. It's the calorie bomber. It's a juicy hamburger with all the trimmings. It's just 700 credits. Bye. One calorie bomber piping hot from the grill. This one's sure to knock the socks off of your man on friend. So this is actually a much easier mission than I thought it was going to be. I was, I was worried about it at first, but no, I just have to go running around buying food from people. Hey, Powell. Who's... Welcome to Army Pizza! Unfortunately, I ran out of dough for the day, so all I've got left are frozen pies. Only a thousand credits, and just as good fresh. That's the Army Pizza guarantee! Buy it. Frozen or no, I put love into all my pies. I guarantee the taste will blow you away! Alright, well, we got a, fro we got a frozen pizza. Mmm. The height of gourmet. And it looks like we've got a quest over here that I can grab, so we might as well take care of that too. Because at this point, I'm just trying to, like, completionist my way through as many things as possible before we pick the story back up. I know it's a little bit plotting, uh, but this way we don't have to worry about it later. And, uh, I don't know. Why not? Our brand, Bell Betty Fashions, prides itself on offering products made for women by women, no matter what species they may be. But so far, we've only been able to reach a human audience. If we want to succeed on Mirror, we need to start bringing men on women into the fold. Which is precisely what I've tasked Panyar here to accomplish as the head of our new Man on Sales division. Hello, hello. Leave it to me, okay? As the rising star of non-human fashion, I'm positioned to revolutionize Man on Apparel, you see? But, 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 in your opinion, how does current Man on Fashion strike you? Doesn't it all look the same? Agree. Confess that all man on clothes look shockingly similar. Ah! You have very fine taste, don't you? You see, we man on have no custom of wearing clothes specifically designed for one's body. Most man on will throw on anything, even if it's too, too big, or not especially flattering, you know? Aha! I have it, yes, Victoria, you need to craft undergarments, like the ones you humans wear, but in man on sizes. That sort of subtle, concealing fashion is fantastic, isn't it? Very, very confidence boosting. That's an interesting idea, Penyar. Though, we'll need to do some research. I have no idea what kind of size chart to use for man on. Well, maybe we'll just have to use my good friend here to... I uh, have my good friend here to do it. It is decided. Go into town and ask three man on for their measurements, okay? Inform Panyar that you'd be far too embarrassed to ask people for their sizes. <laughs> embarrassed? But it's only data, isn't it? Raw numbers? Such questions are no bother to us man on, you see? So, there's no cause to be embarrassed, okay? Plus, I am very, very, very busy, so it has to be you. I need Panyar to stay here and start working up some designs. I understand it's rather sudden, but would you mind helping us? We can check up new LA apparel seen together. Oh, and in addition to the measurements, we need material to craft the garments. A handful of supple leather would be perfect if you can track some down. I appreciate all your help. The vision is brand, uh, division is brand new, so we're still rather understaffed. Many, many thanks. Let me give you the names of the th three of my friends. We're likely to give you their measurements, okay? For juniors, talk to Viverda. For Mrs. see Alis. And for older women, ask Vipon, okay? They should all be in New LA somewhere, so get those measurements, all right? Society should die if it ever got to this level of <laughs> idiocy. You're not wrong. So where are these? Alright, so we got one over here and then we'll warp over. I'm gonna let the car just charge up for the time being. I like I like using it in combat. It is fun. <laughs> Society hasn't died. You're not you're not wrong as well. Either way, this is pretty stupid. I love it. This is supposed to be a junior. 
All right. You need something, perhaps? Because I'm not working right now, so I'm basically doing nothing. Which I guess makes me free from whatever. Uh, get measurements. You must be friend of Panyar, no? In that case, I'll tell you anything you want. What measurements did you need? Bust, waist, and hip. Easy enough. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. I'll go take the readings, okay? Here are my measurements, okay? So, um, just what do you need these for, anyway? Underwear? That sounds kind of interesting. Maybe I'll give them a try once they're available. Bye. Uh, this is creepy and weird. I am going to know way too much about Manon, and I'm not okay with it. Let's go this direction and see what happens. This might actually be on the lower level. I don't actually know if this is a good idea. Oh, well! I mean, it's not like we can't just warp... Yep, we are on the wrong part of town. Well, uh... Maybe? No. No, that's definitely on the other side of the hangar. It's like out here somewhere. No, it might actually be right... No, it's directly above me. Ah, oh, that's easy enough. Let's see, they're right over here. What? What? Whoa. They were below me? Where? Oh, maybe it's on the other other side of the shipping container? No. What the hell is this man on? The deuce? It's not on the other side of this truck or anything, right? It's not inside the truck. It's not you. It's not any of these people. Do we just have to wait for it to pop in? You know what? That's actually the most likely assumption. This game does have the bad habit of spawning in NPCs well after you've arrived to the location that they're currently hanging out at. But it doesn't look like it's here. Which is confusing. Well, let's try again. Otherwise, we go to the other place and keep going around. Okay, what time is it? Wow. It's... Okay, so I'm just going to stand here until this mana. There she is. Yes, yes, can I help you. Not disclosure agreements keep me from discussing work, but I'm happy to speak with any about anything else, probably. I uh, get measurements. You want measurements of my body's physical dimensions, yes? As it turns out, all of my biometrics were taken when I started working my current job. You're welcome to a copy of that data if you want. I won't ask what you aim to do with these numbers, okay? Uh, all right, yes, I will. Wonderware, you say? What wonderware? This is some new manner of weapon, perhaps. It sounds so deadly. I don't know what the specific uh don't know the specifics, but 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 I wish you luck in your RD efforts. Well that was fast. Alright. I didn't even need to threaten anybody with a mech. And to the man on ship, where's the other one? Oh. They're all in the same zone. Makes it easy. Okay, and we should probably pick up the other side quest here. Despite my general reservations. Oh god, we just missed one. Well, I guess here's Vipon, so we might as well take care of that first. Oh wow, the Manon music's actually pretty good. I like it. Wow, yeah, this is actually quite nice. Hello. Oh, a human, I find you all very fascinating, no? I'm happy to talk for as long as you like, okay? Uh, get measurements. Oh, you're here on an errand for my daughter, are you now? Are you now? And just what has Panyar gotten herself into this time? Collaborating with humans to make underwear. Most fascinating. Of course, I'll help you in any way I can, won't I? If you don't mind staying right here for a moment, I'll go measure myself. Here you are, straight from my body to yours, okay? Will we man on all start dressing in human style clothes from now on, perhaps? Well, I can't wait. Tell my darling girl to keep up the good work, won't you? Well, that was easy. Uh, let's go shake down some more man on. Can I make... Yep, I can Hulk jump all the way up there. Yeah! And we can also Hulk fall all the way down if I screw up. What does Tutura want? Welcome to the man on ship. Do you think you'll join the rest of space in agreeing? It offers the very finest of amenities, maybe. How did you like to ride here? A warp device packs for a kick, yes? That classic... That's classic man on technology there. 
from either warp drives, we uh, from ether to warp drives, we have it all, don't we? But maybe I should continue from where I left off earlier, during the time it took to move here, after establishing our present friendship with your people, we Manon created a number of items to sell, you see? They're based on thorough market research and guaranteed to hit the human spot. Or is... That was the plan, right? However, the culture barrier is harder to overcome than we thought. Well, the technology involved is practically primitive. We... We've having... We are having an incredibly difficult time, actually. Coming up with everyday products? From washing things and diluted chemicals to slathering paint on your faces? Your human needs are... Well, they're incredibly strange, aren't they? Inscrutable? Beyond the grasp of all logic, even. Literally impossible to fathom, perhaps. Yes, that's it. So we decided to forget about everyday products and make weapons instead, since the needs of most species are essentially the same in that area, aren't they? They want power, yes? Convenience, yes? Deluxeness? And man on weapons have all that and more, okay? I'm very, very, very certain humans will agree to buy so, so many, but, but, but. Well, the cultural barrier is pretty high, isn't it? I'm worried that humans might not understand how the amazing these weapons really are, maybe. So, 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 this is where the favorite part comes in, all right? I want you to try some of the weapons we made here in the field. And then go tell all the humans how amazing they are, okay? Word of mouth, right? I'll set you up with one of our latest models to get you started. Is that all right? Take it and go hunt some indigens called Quick Avellos, okay? Seven or so should be enough. Oh, and the more wild and flamboyantly you can fight, the better advertisement it likely will make. We might even have humans lining up at the door. So yes, all right, Ken Incredibles Future is in your hands, you understand? All right, so I got Diagonal Twins. I think those are dual weapons. I might be able to throw them on another character. Okay, let's see, just notice the skill is refueling. Uh, do you no longer have to buy fuel? Uh, it's a little bit of both. Uh, you can and probably will have to buy fuel occasionally. Uh, just because the fuel recharges pretty slowly, but it will refuel slowly over time as well. Uh, so if you only use it occasionally, you'll never have to worry about refueling, but if you use it all the time, you're gonna have to refuel a lot. Which is actually, I don't know, it seems fair. Though, ultimately silly, I don't see why they need a fuel gauge at all. Alright, and again, Mo, I think we have all of the food for him. Ah, very good. Have you brought your American delicacy? delicacy? Then, I, uh, then maybe hand me your personal recommendation so I may sample it hot dog hamburger frozen pizza I love pizza oh what is this ah so this is pizza mmm chilled surface glistens with frosty flavor does it not into my mouth with you no I'm not much hmm Th this this is amazing isn't it I think my mouth may be alive for 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 the first time the gritty texture yes the crunchy cheese yes the unyielding pepperoni yes what is that you meant to heat it first that doesn't matter! No, nothing matters except for pizza, culinary crime jewel of all the cosmos. Even the Destroyer King, whose wrath rent planets in twain, would bow before the sheer force of this deliciousness, would he not? I give thanks that 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 I was born. Thank you, mother. Thank you, father. Hmm? Trade? Yes, what? Oh, yes, or a material refinement technique. Next to this pizza offering, that old thing seems tantamount to insult, doesn't it? Though note that, we, that will not stop me from doing so. You have a deal, friend. If you accept it, of course. That's a little technologi technological tidbit for a taste to quell a Destroyer King. Seems a little unfair almost, doesn't it? Er, you're certain, right? Then I have no objection. Ah, but teaching you the refinement method seems inefficient, you know? Why don't I simply perform it for you as service from now on? You'll still receive the result, so I assume you have no further qualms. Agree. Your understanding is most appreciated, you know? From this point on, we Manon promise regular deliveries of the materials you seek. This is agreeable, yes? Lovely. This has been a most successful negotiation, hasn't it? How fortunate are we to witness both our cultures take a grand step forther, forward this day, right? I look forward greatly to what else our partnership may yield, okay? Okay. And that quest is done, finally. And he disappears <laughs> as he says that. That's great. Okay, well, back to the commercial district. Let's keep, uh... Let's just keep burning these side quests. It's nice getting them out of the way. Well, the less we have sitting around, the better off we're going to be when it comes time for uh, more fighting, I guess. And instead of speaking like a squeaky man on, I've just decided to talk really fast with them instead. I think it works. <laughs> Hanyar is fascinating to watch. It's just one fresh new idea after the next with her. If we can bring those ideas to market, I think we can revolutionize the way man on women dress. 
And how are you progressing? Are the materials and the measurements ready? Uh, apparently, I have a bunch of supple leather. Leather, okay. Great, there should be plenty. We can start cutting samples right away. Say, Panyar, once the samples are complete, will you be the first model, uh, be the first to model one for us? I'd be very, very, very happy to be the first ever underwear, 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 underwear in Man on history, wouldn't I? Excellent. We'll have them stitched in no time flat. Perfect. They're ready when you are, Panyar. Copy that. I'll be right back, okay? I can't wait to see how they feel on me. Gah! What? What? What is this? Being squeezed like this is very, very uncomfortable. This isn't fashion. It, it's bondage. Do you really wear things like these? Aren't they so awful? Uh... <laughs> Say that you know exactly how she feels. Or explain that men's underwear is less restrictive. Males and females wear different kinds, do they? Hmm, seems earth w earth women have, an, have a harsh lot, right? This crushy, squeezy feeling is unbearable. I'm taking these off now, okay? Right, right off. Phew. I thought I might die for a minute. Even for fashion, there are limits to what I'll do, okay? I suppose I'm... I suppose underwear would be a bit hard to sell if you aren't used to it. I didn't think of that. Maybe we should try approaching the man on customer through cosmetics instead. Hmm, that reminds me, Victoria. You have a very nice spell. Better than most other humans, right? Were you maybe born different? I wear perfume. It's an aromatic spray made from a combination of pleasing scents. Oh, another form of invisible fashion. Yes, excellent. I think man on are much more likely to enjoy this, no? A new f fragrance made especially for the man on woman. Hmm. I think it might actually work. It's time for a good, good friend to go and collect the sense of we man on enjoy, right? After that, we can mix them up into a dangerously fresh new perfume, yes? Alright, and we gotta go find three Sona herbs and... Well, we'll leave that one for a very long time there. So, what is this? Matchmaker. With Lao? Where's it located? Oh, there it is. Can I do it? Yes. You know, with the name like The Matchmaker and a heart with Lao, this feels kind of weird. Well, why not? Look who's here. Thanks again for the help last time. Hmm? When did you work with Elma's team? Uh, when a certain someone decided to just wander off and leave us high and dry? Oh, yeah? Well, I hope whoever it was got chewed out good. Looks like I owe you one, Elma. Order something if you like. My treat. Really? Oh, Tatsu filled to bursting with food and joy. Lau is good and generous, friend. You tubby little. I said order something, not everything. It's okay, Lau. Next meal, it'll be Tatsu's turn. So, Shingo, you gonna say something? Go ahead and ask. I'm sure these ladies will give you better advice than I can. Having trouble with something? Oh, uh, I... it's not. Ooh, I know. Shingo has a crush on someone. Wait, what? How'd you know? Oh, come on. Seriously? Shrug, say you had no idea. I have no personality. How would I know how romance works? Oh my gosh, it's totally obvious. How do you not see it? I get that a lot. If you're done making the poor man sweat, why don't you hear him out? But look, if this is about winning a girl's heart, Lau is probably the guy you want to ask. He knows you a lot better than we do, since you work together and all. Plus, he was married, so he can... <sighs> Sorry, Shingo. I should get going. Uh, right. Of course, sir. Good luck. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Th thank you, sir. Uh, yeah. We don't really talk about Lao's family. Oh my gosh. I didn't mean to... 
Not to worry about it, try to make her smile. Can I? Do I have enough personality to make people smile? Yeah. Are you serious? I don't really feel like Are you serious? I <laughs> <laughs> with Shingo luck. Yes, yes. Angry loud, not talk like that. Thanks, guys. Yeah, so if you don't mind, I really do need some advice on this. I'm at the end of my rope. Sure. Whatever we can do to help. Alright, Shingo is taking a liking to someone. You agreed to give him some advice on how to approach her. <laughs> sure. God damn, this is just the campiest shit. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I can't believe that my character, instead of doing anything like trying to cheer up, just starts cheering and clapping and looking like a goddamn moron. Well, that seems apropos given his state of being. So that's her, huh? And you say her name's Dorothy? She's beautiful. Oh, gosh. Thanks. Not quite sure what you're taking credit for there, but okay. Tatsu will go and ask Pretty Lady for her favorite food. You stay put, you. Man, she's too beautiful. She'll never go for a schlub like me. If only I could make her happy somehow. You know, considering my character is terrible at reading people... Whoops. What? Just out of the blue? Shouldn't I start with dinner or something? Dinner dates are nice and all, but any schmo can ask a girl out. A surprise gift? Now that'll leave an impression. You sure it's not weird? Unusual, maybe, but that's not necessarily bad. If the way she's dressed now is any indication, she's obviously into fashion. Why not give her a little accessory when you ask her out? A bracelet or something? That's perfect. I bet she'll love it. All right, I'll give it a try. Uh, but where am I supposed to find nice jewelry here on Mira? Tatsu have an idea. Cowardly friend should get pretty lady a shiny rock. That how Tatsu dead upon win the heart of Mopapan. Hey, not bad. You're kind of smart for a nopon. Meh, says friend to the whole team to ask out girl. What does friend think of this? Oh, that's lovely. It no pun matchmaking stone. Super valuable. Worth more than almost any food. Sounds like a winner to me. Let's go track one down. We'll need someone to set it in a bracelet once we've found it. There's a jewelry shop in the commercial district. We can try bringing it there. <laughs> the stone is just lead. <laughs> okay. Um, I saw a little marker on the left side that said, "Yep, you, it's lead. You have enough of it. Good luck." Thanks. Now this is a stunning specimen. It better be, considering what we had to go through to get it. So, uh. How much to put that in a bracelet? Sorry, not gonna happen. What? Why not? I tested its hardness. That rock puts even diamonds to shame. Seriously? I'd really like to help, but my tools just can't handle it. Sorry. After we went to all that trouble. I never imagined it couldn't be done. Just because our tech can't handle it doesn't make it impossible. I met a man on Craftsman a while back who works with rare minerals. He's not cheap, but he's good. Why don't I introduce you? Sir, that would be amazing. Um, Lau? About before. I know you've been working hard to help out one of my crew, Lin. Thank you. 
I appreciate it. Of course. How about letting me join the fun from here? Heck yeah! to add him to the party? I guess we do. Okay. Back to uh, the starboard side of the man. Oh, I see. Man on ship. Apparently have not surveyed this place. Weirdly enough, we always go to the starboard side. Funky. All right, well, let's talk to Jeshiro and see how this goes. Probably another Another step in the fit. Wow, that is a pretty thing in the background. That like we. Wow, I like all the animations with this. I don't know if it's supposed to be like some kind of freaky killer doomsday clock, but that's what it looks like, and I love it. So how's it look? It's tricky, you know. Very, very tricky. But nothing is impossible for the right price. Uh, so long as it's high enough. Uh, how much are we talking? Let's say one of your human features. If that works, my family loves those things. Wait, that's it? Seriously? Well, like I said, another step in the fetch quest pro progress. I wonder if I hadn't completed that quest beforehand, would have you asked for hamburgers instead? You know, I want to say the answer is yes, but the answer is probably no. It just would be hilarious if, like, the man on were just bananas for pizzas now as a result. Maybe they just love pizzas to begin with, considering this dude is literally surrounded in man on. That are just dancing at him. Or waving repeatedly. I don't know, this is kind of a confusing exchange. Welcome to Army Pizza! You here for a pie? What's that? You need 10 delivered ASAP. No sweat, just for 10,000 credits. We'll send your piping hot pizzas anywhere in New LA. Purchase. These are headed out to Jeshiro's place, yeah? We'll have them there before the cheese begins to cool. Well, that... We're done. Am I gonna do this entire mission without fighting a single person? You know what? I'd actually be okay with this. <laughs> Pizza currency, yes! I want to play a game like that, actually, where just, like, literally the only currency is pizza, and it's a pain in the ass. Because if you have too much of it, it gets old and devalues really fast. <laughs> wow, that would be amazing. So you'll make the bracelet then? I gave you my word, remember? I promise it'll be more stunning than even the finest Earth pizza! Yeah! Hopefully. Um, the bracelet is finished, if that's okay. Man, Dorothy's gonna love this! It's gorgeous. Thank you all so much. I'm going to go ask her out right now. I'm glad that worked out. I really hope she says yes after all this. Should we go see? You know it. All right, and next up, commercial district. Come over here. Okay, you must do the ingredients. That's great. Okay, well. I assume I just run this way and trigger the cutscene. Yes! That's convenient. Looks like that went well. Everything go according to Tatsu plan. Like they say, even a broken clock. Never really saw the point in men relationships. But hey, I guess if it makes them happy. Hmm? Well, what do you mean? Uh, nothing. Just talking to myself. All right. Shingo now has a girlfriend. Congratulations, Shingo. 
That probably would have been more of a pain in the ass if I hadn't just compulsively gathered literally everything. And sniper rifle art. Afterburner. Nice. Alright, now what else we got? I've noticed when I'm doing these affinity missions, I don't get nearly as much... Okay, nine lives. Required members. Oh. Ah. Alright. I guess we'll go grab him. Uh, so now we have to go get Arena's uh, buddy, who I've consistently refused to use ever. Mar Marcus? No. Not Marcus. What the hell's his name and where is he? Well, can't do shit with Doug, because I haven't ever used Doug. Ooh, Planetary Pioneer! We're in the wrong section for it, but this is the lady that gives us all the probes. Ah, uh, man. I've been waiting for another uh, quest from her for ages. She's the one that gives me all the probes, so if we're lucky, we'll get some more data probes. Ah, dude, perfect. I'm just, I've got just the job for you. This last stretch of fighting has been intense. Our scale fleet is pretty beat up. As is a lot of our equipment. We need to perform some large-scale maintenance, but we're all out of... Alright. A relatively common resource needed for repairs. You're just dangerous enough when your gear is working, but when it's not, forget it. Agree. And you've been through enough tight scrapes to know how terrifying it can be even with working great gear. We've got Pathfinders and Prospectors out gathering as we speak. We need... But the more their equipment fails, the more casualties are mounting. I'd like you to mine the orite uh, we need for our maintenance, and also gather eight HI-9 ion thrusters that can be found in Noctilum. If you could also recover the data unit that fell there while you're at it, that would be a huge help. Do you mind? Oh, so we only get a mining... Alright, that's not nearly as cool as I wanted it to be. I'll gather the resources for the blade. Well, that's easy enough. What about this one? Ion thrusters might be a problem. Might actually be able to get those, though. Well, let's set that one as the target. Much appreciated. Of every faith, you'll find everything, so I'll whip up a maintenance schedule while you're out. So access your comm device to connect to Frontier Nav and mine that alright. As for the rest, well, just be sure to come home safely. That's an order. Alright, that's it. Off you go. Alright, so these <laughs> have a lot of alright. There we go. Uh, what else do we got here? That's another mission down. What's this one? Oh, right. That Soldier of the Harriers. I need to actually bring Doug on some missions. And L. Maybe once I've, I'm done with all of these, we can switch people out. Okay, so where the hell is What's-His-Face? Because we know where Arena is. We need Arena's buddy. I really just wish this would actually clear out... Uh, not finished missions, but, uh, clear out characters so we knew exactly where we could find them. Because, yeah, we're looking for the weird baby face, uh, guy on... On Arena's team. Because we need him for an affinity mission. And probably more. I don't know where he is. 